back in the Second World War, Royal Air Force pilots in Britain were very successful in dogfights against the German Luftwaffe. Why? Supposedly they were on purple power. <laughs> what do we mean by purple power? They were eating bilberries. Well, bilberries are the uh, European version of blueberries. We can talk about them in one breath. They're part of the same family. And what is really interesting here is the coloring. The coloring that we see in blueberries, we see it in red grapes, strawberries, some flowers where the coloring attracts bees and in apples and in black cherries and black raspberries. These anthocyanins are very interesting because they have antioxidant properties, which means that they can neutralize those rogue species that occur in our body called free radicals, which are a byproduct of normal metabolism. But they are associated with disease, they are also associated with aging, and supposedly they also impair vision. So anthocyanins should have some effect. Unfortunately, the studies that have been done with anthocyanins on vision haven't shown that there is any significant effect there. However, elsewhere in the body, it's a different story. Some studies have been done on what we call flow-mediated dilation. That is, they measure blood pressure in the arm and they can determine how our arteries respond to, to changes in blood pressure. And it turns out that when people eat a lot of blueberries or in that particular experiment when they were drinking blueberry juice, they had a better response to changes in the blood pressure, which means that their arteries are in better condition. Okay, so should we be guzzling these things? With blueberry juice, you have to be very careful because it can have a lot of sugar added. In this particular case, 30 grams of sugar per 250 milliliters, that's a lot. So it's a lot better to stick to eating the berries. We're not going to suggest that, that uh, uh, they're going to extend your life, but uh, it is certainly better on your breakfast uh, table than a Danish. But what about those stories of the British pilots being so successful against the Germans? Well, I don't think it had anything to do with them eating bilberries or blueberries or any kind of other purple fruits. You know what it most likely had to do with? The bag. You know what that bag is? That is polyethylene. And during the Second World War, radar was being developed. And polyethylene was a critical factor in its development because it was needed to make the insulation around radar cables. And the British pilots were testing out radar in their airplanes. The Germans didn't have any radar. And it seems that the British military was very fond of the story of the pilots eating bilberries, improving their vision. So they were hoping that the Germans would be out there looking for bilberries to eat while they were secretly working out on polyethylene insulation for radar. So it was the radar that helped shoot down the German planes. But bilberries, blueberries, grapes, strawberries, purple, anything is very good to eat because of the anthocyanin content. But I don't think pilots need to dope up on these.